Hi there, in this video let us look at how to connect a MySQL database to a .NET Core project. So in this video we are going to use Pomelo's Entity Framer Core MySQL provider and it has a really nice guide which we can use to connect our MySQL database. So let us quickly create a .NET Core project. So first of all we need to create a directory. is the dotnet new command so uh, the database we're trying to create is the company database which consists of two entities an employee entity which holds the attributes for the employee that works in the company and a department uh, which holds the attributes for the department the employee is working for so there is an ns to one relationship between the employee and the department uh, because there are n number of employees that work for a single uh, department. So let us open up Visual Studio Code in this directory. So if you don't know about Visual Studio Code, it is a cross-platform code editor and it has really nice support for all sorts of programming languages and .NET Core in particular. So I've already gone in and created the two entities and let me wait for the editor to launch all right so now that the editor has launched let us create a new directory where we can put all of our entities and data models so i would go ahead and create a new folder called data so first of all i'll go and create the employee.cs file and i have actually already created that file here so let me copy it and paste it here okay so as you can see there are quite a bit of uh, attributes the primary key of this entity is employee id and these two properties are navigation properties to the department so for the department entity we can create a new file department.cs and I'll copy uh, the code here. So as you can see the primary key is department ID which is of type GUID and it has a navigation property which is of type hash set and it will uh, reference the employees that work in this uh, department. We also need one more file which is the data context so the job of a data context uh, in our case we are naming it application db context uh, this is a class that can uh, that actually interfaces with entity framework core this is the class that uh, is responsible for creating the database and handling all the transactions that go on so let me copy that as well So as you can see this code is really simple we have okay so we need to add uh, some packages we'll do that in a moment so this application database context uh, inherits from db context which is from the microsoft identity framework uh, namespace and it has two properties employees and departments so in entity framework core uh, by convention the um, application db contacts will uh, have some properties of type db set and these will be the uh, tables in your database so in our database since we have two entities we are creating two properties employees and departments and these are the two uh, tables that will be created and we also have uh, the we are overriding the on configuring method and this will be used to um, initialize our uh, mysql provider and the connection string that is provided here will be used to uh, connect to the database so i have mysql running on my local machine all right so we had to add some packages so so in this pomelo's uh, readme we have right here we have the cs projects files uh, package references two are uh, nuget packages which is uh, .NET entity framework core tools and the pomelo entity framework core uh, provider and the third is a CLI reference. Uh, so 
In .NET 4, the CLI references are extensions to the .NET command, uh, which will add extra functionality to it. So in this case, we are adding the Entity Framework core tools, which will help us to use the .NET EF commands. So Pomelo also has, if you can see right here, it has uh, scaffolding built in. We could uh, use the database first approach to generate classes from our already created database. So if you already have a database, you can simply do uh, .NET EF DB context scaffold and your connection string. And the next argument is your provider, which is Pomelo here. So this will generate classes based on your database selected. For now, let us uh, add those package references. I think I copied it. Yeah. Go ahead and just run the .NET restore command. So the command we wanted to run is .NET restore. All right. So now that the package restore is complete, we can set up our database. So, yep, I already have a company database. I'll drop that database and create it again. So right now we don't have any tables in there. So now what we have to do is we've set up everything. Uh, now what we can do is go to our program.cs and in our main method, we will use our database. All right, so we had to add this extra package reference here because we are using it in our uh, application DB context. So now that's completed, we can do in our main, we can do context.database and ensure that our database was created. So that, let's uh, simply run this at this point. So what ensure created does is it makes sure that the database is uh, created based on the properties in the application DB context. Okay, so our application did run and it exited with a success code. So let us go ahead and check out our database now. So if we do show tables, okay, so we have two entities or let's say two tables, departments and employees. So let us describe those entities and see what the attributes are. If I can spell employees, yes. So we have employee ID, address, department ID, name, phone, salary. So uh, all the attributes seem to have been created properly. And the department's uh, entity has department ID and a name. So let's now try to populate those entities. So we'll create a new department. the department ID is good, good. So this creates a globally unique identifier. So we can do simply context.add and since it takes uh, an argument of type T entity, it will automatically detect that this is a department and this will be added to the department entity. So let's add uh, an employee or two, two, three employees to this entity, uh, to this department. So to make sure that's, uh, that this employee works for the uh, 
department we have to uh, wire the department id here so we'll do department id as the department id of the previously defined variable here here so Let's add an employee ID and we'll simply copy and paste this. So once we add our uh, variables to the context, we can do context dot save changes. And this will make sure that all these transactions that we did here will be updated in the database. So let us simply do build and run. Okay, so we have an error. So the entity type list of employee was not found. So in order to add multiple entities or multiple uh, tuples to the context, we can do we can use add range. So the reason I stopped the build is because the code ran till here. So that would have created the department already. So now when we try to create this department again, we will have two separate tuples with the same name but different department IDs. So that's the reason I uh, deleted all the data. Alright, so build has succeeded and let's see if it works. Okay, so it did work. So now let's check our uh, tuples. So okay, we have two tuples. That's awesome. So as you can see the department ID is the same so this should be same as the department ID in our department uh, entity so we can do select star from department where department ID equals this oops okay it was departments okay so our tuples were created and tuples were added and our entities were created with pomelo's provider for mysql thank you for watching this video and in the comment section below please suggest new videos see you later